It's got, it appears to be a bit of a bump in the road for Helldivers 2. Let's break it down as Helldivers 2 now wants you to link your Steam account with the PlayStation Network. Why? Why would you? I don't I don't have a PlayStation. This is precisely what I was trying to avoid. <laughs> <laughs> like this is Harvey Randall over PC Gamer. Helldivers 2 has been out for a handful of months now and it's been monstrously popular. So popular, in fact, that people could barely play it. There's also been another side effect of the game's running away success. You were actually supposed to make a PlayStation Network account months ago. The servers were just too busted to handle it. That's an interesting... Oh, man. Servers were uh, very populated, to say the least, which then broke the servers, Scott, is what happened. Yeah, bursting at the seams, it was. Absolutely. As revealed in a recent statement by Sony via the Helldivers 2 Steam page, players will have to create a link and link a PlayStation Network account beginning May 6th. Due to technical issues at the launch of Helldivers 2, we allowed the linking requirements for Steam accounts to a PlayStation Network account to be temporarily optional. The grace period will now expire. End quote. The reason for the change, the post states, is that Sony uses an internal system as, quote, our main way to protect players from griefing and abuse by enabling the banning of players that engage in that type of behavior. It also allows those players that have been banned the right to appeal. End quote. The grace period is longer than May 6th, however. Steam users can expect to be prompted with an annoying login screen starting May 30th. Uh, yeah, no, that's what it says. And will require you to have joined the accounts at the hip June 4th. One thing to note before we really get into this, this requirement was unfortunately here the whole time. A quick jaunt on to the Wayback Machine version of the Steam Store page pre-release revealed that Helldivers 2 requires third-party account PlayStation Network. Judging by the general community response, this supposed rug pull was surprised has surprised a lot of players. But I think it's a fair to say that it isn't exactly a fine print, easily missable at best. It should also be noted that as per PlayStation Country Selector, PSN has region limitations as players on the game subreddit have observed, while you can lie, doing so is against TOS and could get you banned unless Sony makes an exception. Quote, all information provided during account creation and during the use of your account must be accurate and complete. We reserve the right to suspend, terminate, or restrict any account, inclu including as stated in section 12.2 of the agreement. The, dude, this is a mess. I understand part of the reason, but the other part is, dude, if you're on Steam, you're on Steam. And not everybody <clears throat> has, like yourself, a PlayStation. That is a me problem, admittedly. But <laughs> the idea that they have to require this PSN network connection to do their own kind of server policing. Again, that makes sense in a legal term, I suppose. But doesn't Steam have its own systems to report that kind of a thing? Steam is a ginormous platform. Yeah. Surely they must. So I'm surprised that that's really what is required, unless that's just what they're saying to make it, you know, dot their I's in a legal terms. But this is really just what they want to do in terms of brand integration or something else further down the line i'm wondering why uh, i don't know it says here over in the games discord community manager twin beard present uh presents less of an united front between sony and arrowhead while the development studio was obviously aware of the eventual change again this has been a thing since the pre-order days the statement itself comes from above quote the statement wasn't ours and quote twin beard writes quote and that piece of inf uh, important information was missing. As soon as we saw that, w we asked for more information and updates on some details for the linking. End quote. Dude, this doesn't come directly from Arrowhead. This comes right from PlayStation and Sony themselves. Yeah, this is them taking that a executive uh, ability to do something above Arrowhead, which is kind of unfortunate because you know Arrowhead is going to take a lot of the brunt of this. That's the problem, right? Arrow, everybody now is directing their anger at Arrowhead, and it's not really... It is, but it's not really their fault. It is more on the corporate side of things, right? Now it's in the, the politics of PlayStation and Sony. And this is where things get muddy. 
and it's just unfortunate because the huge success of Helldivers 2 has put Arrowhead at a whole new place, right? They're just at a different ball game now and at another level where they've never been before. And they were riding that success to then have it just be tainted today with the news of, hey, now you got to link your Steam. No, you don't. No, you shouldn't have to. If you're a Steam player, it shouldn't matter. It's still on PlayStation to figure it out and not have you link your account to PlayStation. That's ridiculous. How many people are on Steam? Millions. Millions of people are on Steam. And you're going to make somebody who's playing Helldivers 2 have to link to a PlayStation account? Man, that's just wrong. Yeah, it's not even just about linking up with with friends and playing playlist no. crossplay or cross plat in that reason. Although that might be a good enough reason to do it yourself. It's not <clears throat> the end of the world that I see, but it is a big annoyance for seemingly no reason. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense to me at the end of the day. Just something that I don't think is necessary. As like you say, right? Steam's got their own way to handle griefers and abuse and all that stuff. So let them figure it out over there. That's why the platform um, does what it does. Like. It does make me wonder, actually, because PlayStation uses um, different types of recording on PlayStation consoles. Yep. Uh, voice chat and the like. I wonder if this comes along with that kind of a... Uh, is this going to be listening? Is this going to be observing my computer in any sort of way? Does this open up oh, yeah. privacy issues for some people that um, are more sensitive to that? Yeah. There's a lot of things to consider. Yeah, it definitely is. It's a weird update, but you can keep up to date with us over at ITGTV.com.